does the time go, everybody? Boy, first quarter in the books. Don't forget 2022 running goals. That vlog listed below in the description. Also upper right-hand corner. Remember, late 2021, we set out goals together as DGR. So I want to just remind you about that vlog. If you typed, I think we had over 500, maybe even at least 500 comments on that vlog laying out our goals. So first quarter is almost in the books. We're not talking about goals today, but just a little gentle reminder as we proceed into, frankly, Northern Hemisphere, the racing season, which connects to the running shoes, the top three running shoes thus far of the new year of 2022. And yeah, let's do it right now. Question of the day. Well, if you, if you, if you'd like to give three, that's amazing, but let's just go with what, it, what has been your top road or trail shoe from 2022 thus far in the first quarter okay your top road or trail shoe from 2022 sound good hit it up in the comments speaking of the comments we're going with sean for the comment of the day yesterday thank you sean and we'll get to these top three here in a second sean says this is from yesterday i'm trying to think of all the times i've messed up my own taper i'd say don't panic don't try to squeeze in that last hard workout if your body needs the rest. Sean, that is wisdom. That is wisdom right there. I lit Sean, that is such a great tip. I can't even begin to describe it. And I often, Sean, get into that predicament in my training blocks where it's like, ugh, I'm just running out of real estate in the training block. And sometimes I get that urge to squeeze in one more workout and I just have learned over time, don't squeeze it in. This training block has been 18 weeks, so I actually don't feel rushed. Whereas, oh, speaking of which, hey oh, shout out to New York City. The, I definitely felt like I needed to cram in some workouts at the end for New York City. So I'm glad I'm not in that predicament this go around. Here we go. Stay away from tracks. Uh, marathons aren't run on. Oh, are you talking about me? I don't know. Listen to your body during the taper. The hay should all be in the barn. All that's left to do is sweep the entrance and tidy up. I like that. Seth, I don't know why I'm experiencing the same thing as you during this cycle of training, my, uh, but I am. My left hamstring has been tight and irritated since applying speed work on the track. I'm taking a step back this week leading up uh, leading up to CIM last December, I pushed too hard and, and I cracked. Angry hamstrings can really upend everything, so be careful, stay healthy. Thank you, Sean, for the comment of the day. All right, here we go. Today's run on your screen right now. All right, now I should not just back to the eights. All right, I think that's what I called it on Strava. Back to the eights, meaning that eight minute range pace. And oh yeah, oh my goodness, hold on, pause. These guys might end up in the top three, well, they won't. They'll be second quarter. So when I make this same vlog in about three months from now, yes, it is the New Balance 1080 V12. I'm just predicting. I don't know. I got to weigh them. I haven't weighed them yet. Should I put them on the scale? Let's do it. Let's put it on the scale. I'm predicting these could have been in the top three uh, shoes of the first quarter for 2022. However, this vlog is not published yet, which means it's gonna be in April, which means it's bumped out of the first quarter, at least for me. Let's put it on the scale. Woo! I thought it would be a little lighter. 9.7 ounces in my size. Ugh. If that was like 8.9 or 9.1, I'd be a lot more excited. So that might not put it in, but the ride, the upper, the heel counter, the lockdown, um, and I don't even know actually the price point off the top of my head. So anyway, 880v12 was today's shoe of choice. Here we go. Database, fire it up, fire it up. This is why we do the scoring system. It was very easy for me to figure out what have been my top three shoes thus far of the first quarter in 2022. It's very easy, all right? It's I'm not uh, just going off of uh, feel in the sense of, I just feel like these, it's the, it's the shoes that have the top three scores, final scores from the database. Dun, 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 dun. The Saucony Kinvara 13 is the only shoe thus far in 2022 to break into the eights, which is why it is over here on this shelf. All right, Saucony Kinvara 13. I don't even know where to begin with the Saucony Kinvara 13. I love this 
I love this. I'm sad that I that it's retired now. You know, we're past 50 miles. Actually, let's just do a quick reminder on the durometer so I don't forget. Oh, 42. See, we're dialing in the durometer. I have learned that like 38 um, to 42 is like a good range. 45 is fine. 48 to 52 is leaning a little bit too firm. 55 and a 55 and above. Yes, uh, I'm re-recording this. The battery just died, so I, I'm picking. Uh, so the last five minutes, I was just down here in the studio talking to myself. But we're back now. So what I was saying, hopefully, I can recreate what I just said. All right, here we go. 55 and above is definitely too firm for my liking for the durometer testing. Hopefully I'm not repeating myself too, too much here. I just wanted to point out as far as the Convara 13, uh, breathability through toe box, epic for the summer months coming up. Great breathability. And also again, uh, the weight, I think I already mentioned that the weight is the number one reason. Uh, let's just turn this back on again. Sorry if I'm repeating myself, but 6.5 or 6.6 ounces in my size $119 oh yeah did I <laughs> down below it's listed below in the description in case again, I'm getting I'm kind of repeating myself because the battery died um so there you have it 100% a uh it's it's leading so what was it 8.15 for the final score for the Kinvara 13 there you have it we're putting it on the shelf okay here we go diving into shoe Number two, let's just put that right over there. Oh man, number two is the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. All right, Puma Velocity Nitro 2, not nearly as light as the Kinvara 13. Definitely a neutral shoe. Okay, both of these shoes, uh, you're probably learning the type of shoes I love to run in. That strong ankle, you need it in the Kinvara and this guy, strong ankles, strong, just, um, you're really in control of, of that foot strike through the through your biomechanics, okay? So here we go, do that twist test. And so 8.4 ounces in my size for the Puma Velocity 2. And the number one reason this, I, I love this shoe so, so much is that the weight is good, it's not epic, but it's good, is the outsole is not driving that weight through the roof, but you're still gonna get great durability out of that outsole and great grip as well. It's called that Puma grip on the outsole there. So loving the Puma lineup since 2021, leading into 2022. Uh, don't forget about the Puma Faster Nitro Elite. Is that the name of it? All right, the new uh, carbon fiber plate shoe from Puma, which I tested about two or three weeks ago. Puma is really getting their, their A game on in 2022 and sure enough one of their shoes is breaking into the top three shoes from the first quarter of 2022 great job puma <laughs> did i say this already april 1st is what i'm seeing on their website as far as when this shoe will be available again which is right around, knocking on the door april 1st is right around the corner Ooh, great lockdown i could go on and on about this shoe Put it on the shoe. We'll put this guy up there. All right, last but not least for top three shoes thus far in 2022. Here we go. Uh, what did I say for the question of the day? What is your, pick one, or if you can do three, that's great. Road or trail shoe for 2022 first quarter. You know what's coming down the pike. It is a trail shoe. The Hoka Speed Goat 5 in the house. Is it available yet? I don't think it is. I can't find it anywhere. I saw someone though over in Germany found a pair. Hoka Speed Goat 5. Is it available in Europe? Let us know in the description. Where is this shoe available? Maybe it is available and I'm just not looking hard enough. Hoka Speed Goat 5. Okay, let's do a reminder. Actually, and let me just do a reminder here. I think I just did it a minute ago. Yes, indeed. That might be a little 41. Let's do this up here. Okay, yeah, 41, okay, no, getting 44, okay, 44, 44, okay, so 44 for the Puma, all right, there you go, which is right in my wheelhouse, okay, and then for the Speed Go 5, 42, just epic, that's pretty, that's pretty soft for a trail shoe, 43, hold on, hold on, 41, so just perfect, loving it, Speed Go 5, now the number, I, it's hard to choose, but 
the, one of the, the number one component of the Speedgo 5 that really stood out to me in the full review testing. I'm going to repeat myself here. All three of these shoes, full reviews are listed below in the description. Sorry if I already mentioned that. In case you want to go watch the full reviews, it's the heel counter and the heel tab. So soft, so gentle, so uh, it give, it's giving you a hug that heel counter and that heel tab. So your Achilles tendon should be very, very happy for those long trail races or training days. All right, that's, I, I could go on and on about the, I think it a full review score seven point like eight five. So getting really, really close to those eights. I think we went 8.15, 7.95. And here it is on your screen for the Hoka Speed Goat five. Onward and upward. Oh, we'll put this guy down there. So, top three. Actually, yeah, actually let's do it. Let's just for the uh, the uh, just for the sake of the the char. So here we go. Top Kinvara 13, Puma Velocity 2, Hocus Pico 5. And again, this is all being drawn from the DGR Running Shoe database full review scores. So I'm just just going going with what it is. All right, there you have it. Onward and upward. That is the vlog. For today, sorry if I left out some details from the battery dying. We got the question of the day, got the comment of the day. Have a great weekend if you're out there, you know, racing. Hopefully there's track meets firing up, firing up across the United States for the high schoolers and college students out there and around the world, okay? We will toss it to the um, last year's first quarter top three shoes for a trip down memory lane from 2021. So if you're curious, what were the, and oh man, maybe you could go find some deals on those three shoes. So it might be worth checking out this vlog right here to see, okay, are some of these shoes from 20, from a year ago on sale now, all right? Just because they're a year old doesn't mean they're bad shoes. In fact, it means they might even get better scores because the prices are going down, okay? So we'll put that right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.